The church bells are ringing and Clayton is still singing. Town of Mound Ridge, ladies and gentlemen. We are off to Heston, Kansas today, which is 10 minutes away. It's a short drive. We're gonna take a little jog around the town. Then we're gonna do a little tour. Heston is a predominantly Mennonite town founded by Mennonites. And there's a, that's the church we've seen several times. This is our last day in central Kansas in Mound Ridge. And then we're moving on tomorrow. So let's soak it in. Let's have a good time, you guys. I hope you're excited. I'm feeling good today. Laid in bed for a couple hours. Didn't have to wake up early this morning. It was fantastic. We're here, we made it. Okay, let's go. If you guys are wondering, no, I did not throw this sweatshirt in the laundry three days ago and rip it out of the laundry, and it definitely does not smell like dirty laundry. Just wanted you guys to know that, just to clarify. It's a cute little park, playgrounds, nice skate park here. How you doing? Looks like fun. The wind is really getting to my face. It's supposed to be 50 degrees today and it's not. Maybe it is, but when you factor in the wind, it just makes you want to quit. Behind me, the Heston Middle School. There's probably a lot of rebellious teenagers that go there. Maybe some TikTokers. They got Casey's here, Pizza Hut, and Sonic, Subway. That's how you know you've hit civilization. And we're back. That was about a mile. Change out of the sweatshirt. This is a jacket my uh, brother-in-law and my sister got me. Shout out Chris and Shay. It's pretty sick, it's Jordan. So, fashion show, fashion show. Definitely my personality. As I said, Heston is a town that was founded by Mennonites. What the heck is this? Look at this car. Interessante. Muy interessante. I have to go, what the heck kind of, what in the world is this? What the heck kind of intersections are these, guys? Heston is a town that was founded by Mennonites, which is a denomination of Christianity. Fun facts, fun fact about me, uh, part of my family is Mennonite, so uh, we, I could be related to some of these people around here, potentially. We don't know. If there are Swiss German people, I'm probably related to them. Oh, oh, whoa, hey, oh, look at this. Heston College. Wow, very nice. Take a look, guys. There's a gazebo over there, there's a gazebo. And this is the first Mennonite church that we will see here. I'm assuming there's a lot of young students that go to this church. Swing around here. We're gonna swing around, drive through this. This is Heston College. There are people here. Wow, shocking. Look at that. That's it's a nice, that's a big church right there, ladies and gentlemen. That's a big, that's the biggest Mennonite church I've ever seen in my life. I'll say that much. There, nice little campus. Heston Mennonite Church. One last look. Heston College, the truth shall make you free. 1909, wow, this is a, 
mathematics 113 no yeah 113 114 years old somewhere around there green gables there it is say goodbye Ouch. the mean streets of heston kansas I actually, I googled this place, it said it's one of the safest places in Kansas, I think. So we're going to Heston, Heston Mennonite Brethren Church. And this is it right here, ladies and gents. Wow, I missed that turn, dang it. It said I should, oh, here we go. Is it a soccer net? Wow, look at this. Oh, there's somebody here, I wonder. Heston Mennonite Brethren. All right. Not as, hey, not as cool as the last place though. Not as cool. This is a competition between the churches. We're checking out which church is best. Just kidding, we're not doing that. Now we're gonna drive by a couple churches and it's gonna get, hey, it's gonna get interesting. It's about to get heated and you're gonna see why here in a second. The mean streets. Mean Sweets, downtown. I think this is downtown. I'm just gonna say it's downtown. Who would have thunk there's people here? You know, sometimes in Kansas, you just forget there's people that exist. You know, isn't it crazy there are people in Kansas? Oh. Heston Hardware, true value, baby. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, take a look. On, I'm not gonna pull in, but there's for whatever reason there's a service. We have a service actively happening, I believe, at Whitestone Mennonite Church. That's a pretty big church. Wow. Okay. Right. So there's a Mennonite church. Right. Very cool. Very pristine. Interesting. Um, but just watch. Wait. Wait for a second. Watch this. Wait. Watch this though. Look up here. Look up. Look up to our left, right here. Whoa. A rivalry is brewing, ladies and gentlemen. A rivalry is brewing. This car is taking five years to go, please. Making me uncomfortable. A rivalry is brewing. We have United Methodist Church right across the way. My goodness, these guys have a heated battle between the, these two churches. And I tell you what, it gets feisty sometimes. That you're gonna have to keep yourself in check, keep your uh, wits about you, stay calm, cool, collected. I don't know what I'm saying right now, I'm just kidding. I'm sure they're all lovely people. I'm sure all these people are just the best people, salt of the earth. What if I was a vlogger, but a part of the CIA? It's entirely possible that I missed a Mennonite church, one or two, so I apologize if I did that, but I think those are the main, those are the main churches I saw on uh, maps. So, shout out Mennonites. Mennonite strong. Winners. Um, but do not participate in war during war times. Pacifists as well. Nice people. And we're back at Bethel College. Uh, rivals to Heston College, probably. I, I, I'm just making up rivalries, to be honest with you. I don't know if there's actual rivalries but it just it'd be more fun if there were a little fight a little comp a little competition competitive spirit excuse me sir we're gonna park all the way in the back right corner perfect yeah something i'm gonna try here gator light zero for electrolytes because i am doing a ketogenic diet so i have to keep my electrolytes nice and saucy Otherwise, I will be dehydrated and I'll feel weak too, so. Haunted, that's the haunted cabin thing. That's a flat tire, did you see that? That was a flat tire. Oh, what a lovely day. Honestly, what a fantastic day. What a fantastic day, huh? I mean, come on, you guys. You gotta be kidding me, what a fantastic day. So we got crap to do today, unfortunately. It's the last day. I'm gonna miss this place. I have to do dishes. Later tonight, because I'm gonna be eat eating dinner, but I'm gonna knock out laundry right now, so uh, I even have to, I'm even gonna wash these clothes here, so I'm gonna be naked, guys. Okay, get out of here. Stop looking at me, I'm about to get naked, you weirdos. Get out of here. Stop looking at me, please. Laundry. 
chicken. Heinz tomato ketchup, no sugar added, established in 1869. Ketchup and chicken, baby. I don't... Ah. This is not from me. This is from somebody else. Disgusting. Dude, there's so much laundry. Holy crap. Kobe! Ah, oh, darn it. It's our last night in this Airbnb. I'm gonna miss it. So I'm just gonna meditate for about 20 minutes. Be present in the moment. Enjoy this while it lasts. And then we're moving on. It's moments like these that are going to stick with me the most on this trip, most likely. Because I you know I'm going to travel to different places and see a lot of things, hopefully. But I think the times that are going to stick with me the most are the times uh, where it's nighttime and I've got my cup of tea and I'm sitting down playing Balloon Tower Defense 5, um, listening to music or watching a podcast or whatever, just relaxing and taking in the moment. These are the times that are the most therapeutic for me, honestly. And when I'm editing the vlog too. Editing vlogs is oddly therapeutic and fun. Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy my last night here at this Airbnb. This was a fantastic Airbnb. Perfect first place. See you guys tomorrow. We got a lot to do tomorrow, so see you guys later.